Hi everyone and welcome back here. Okay, let's talk about the HDRI. HDRI means high dynamic range images. This kind of image we use it if we need to simulate natural light. We put it inside the environment to get a lighting from the image itself. It is a 360 degree, so mean the image will surround the scene and emitting a light from all direction. Here we have a very nice website, it's called Polyhaven. You can download any HDR image for free. Here we have the category and here we have a bunch of images. You can pick whatever one you like, for example, can click this and here we have the download button to download it. Okay, let's see how can we use it inside Blender. All right, here we are inside Blender. Uh, if I need to use the uh, HDR image, I need to go to the world properties. And in the color, just uh, hit this icon and go to environment texture, add environment texture here to the socket. And go to open and search uh, for the image. All right, here we are. I got a JB key version and I got the EXR extension here. Okay, let's use, let's start with the JPEG. I will select it and hit open image. Okay, now we have HDR image in the background. I can hit C and go to render. Okay, now I can see the lights. I have some lighting here. As you see now, now I have the ability to illuminate the object here in the 3D viewport. And the lighting that you are seeing right now, it's natural light, comes from the image itself. For any reason, if you want to rotate the environment, you need to add inside the vector here, we need to add the mapping. Here we have the mapping, let's see where is this, sorry, I, think I thought the bump is a mapping, yeah. We got it right here inside the vector section. We added the mapping to control the rotation, but we got a problem with the environment itself. We need to add another node here inside the vector. We need to add the generated. So click this icon and add the generated from the texture coordinate. And there we go, now we correct it. I just need to check, am I in the shadow area or in the sun area? So it seems like we are in the sun area, but I'm not getting shadow like what I see here, for example, the tree, I don't have I don't have the sharp shadow. If you notice here, in the tree we have sharp shadow. We have strong uh, sunlight. All right, that's because we used the JB key. If we go back here to the folder, I have two images: JB key and EXR. So with JB key, I got a lighting, but it's not accurate, it's not correct, and uh, uh, we should not use it as a final result because if I go to the render setting here, let's go to the color management, let's open it. Here we have the exposure. Let's increase the exposure and let's see what will happen. All right, when we inc increase the exposure, we got problem with the shadow. The image is ruined, as you see here. Let's take this back to something dark. And when we take this dark, now we didn't got uh, any bright area. Everything now become dark. So the JB key image is not suitable to use that as HDRI because it's not carrying the range of color or let's say good range of color inside inside it or good range of information. Okay, so let's take the exposure back to the default number. Just hover over here and hit backspace. And let's go back to the environment here. Let's go to the folder and let's add the EXR. Uh, image okay open it 
immediately check here we got all what we need the sun light and we got sharp shadow and everything is correct okay now let's go to the render again let's manipulate the exploiter and let's take this something to something dark i still have the shadow and i still have the sun there are some bright areas still exist like a sun even if i take this very low everything will be dark except the sun so that's mean the EXR image have more information and data inside it, embedded inside it. So it is the most suitable uh, extension EXR to use it inside uh, the environment as HDR image. Okay, let's book this. Even if you book this further, we still can see that we have some variation in the brightness. The sun. Uh, disk uh, still how it's still more bright as compared to the shadow area that's mean we still have the information okay so let's uh, take this back to the default hover over here it's uh, the back space yeah that's cool all right let's go back to the world here okay now we can rotate the environment just uh, use the z axis here and rotate it we can get nice lighting from any angle you like and by the way you notice that something different i'm working here in this uh, area underneath uh, the properties section or editor you don't forget that you can do the same scenario here in the shader editor if you switch this to the world we still got the same notes and this is the environment image and this is the mapping note that we added and the texture coordinate and you remember when we said you can use node Wrangler to add those quickly for example I will grab them and hit control X to delete them I can hit control T to add them quickly if node Wrangler is activated so you can work here or work here Okay, that's it for this video and see you in the next one.